Hey guys, so I am back for part two of the Thanksgiving collab video that I am part of with a lot of wonderful ladies. And I will leave the link down below to the uh, playlist that has all of the videos so you can go and check them out. Um, and I mentioned in my first video, um, our Thanksgiving is quite different than some others. We actually travel out of town for our Thanksgiving and we're gone um, the whole week of Thanksgiving and then we come back the weekend um, and we're all together as a family, but we are not in our homes. So I don't normally decorate. And so a lot of people were sh gonna show decorating halls and stuff like that and I'm not obviously doing that. Um, but I did say that I wanted to have my girls um, take part in making some things to decorate for um, Thanksgiving Day. And so we did an arts and craft project as well as I'm going to show you some of the items that I'm going to use for our road trip. Um, we're actually, I don't know if I mentioned it in the first video, we're going to Hilton Head. Um, and we, it's obviously going to be colder than it is here in Florida. So um, we are, our packing is going to be a little bit more of items, obviously, because we're going to have to bring some um, fall actual weather <laughs> clothes. So, um, so I'm trying to keep our packing still light, but um, I had to um, come up with some ideas for entertainment and um, because now Zoe is two and Annabelle is four, you have to keep them entertained. It is, I think, a six and a half, maybe less or more, actually, maybe more. I'm not sure. My husband does the driving <laughs> and I, I think it's six and a half hours from where we live. So we'll see. Um, but obviously I wanted to find some things that we could take with us in the car as well as they could use them um, to play with throughout the week. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you the craft project that we did. And it is a really simple project. Um, it required some paint, some wiggly eyes, and cardstock. And really simple. And what I'm gonna do is, right now we've only made a few and we're gonna keep making some more each day until it's time to go. But we made handprint turkey cards. And we wrote, Happy Thanksgiving and put a little wiggly eye and drew the mouth and the um, gobble. I'm not even sure what you call that. <laughs> and the feet and then we signed it. Um, this one says love Zoe and this is Annabella's. So these are their little turkeys and I'm going to try to make up enough of these um, for everyone to receive one and maybe put these at the place settings um, because we don't really have a signed place setting. So I, I thought about writing their names on it but I think I'm gonna leave them without their names and just kind of place them around the um, the table. So my husband's family, is that's who we travel with and um, it is a quite large family so we actually really need to get on the ball and make some more of these because four is not enough. <laughs> so we are gonna be working on that and I just took, this was actually one um, sheet of cardstock, uh, eight and a half by 11 and I cut it for into fours and did their hand breaks. Now obviously depending on your child's hand size will depend on how many you can get off of a sheet of paper. So I will insert a clip of the girls um, doing this. I think I have a clip of Annabella doing her hand print. So, um, and she's sick when we were doing this. So um, keep that in mind when you see her red nose cause she's got a runny nose. Okay, so your hand's all painted, right? All right, now we're going to take your hand, turn it over, and we're going to, careful, press it down. All right, now pick it up. Good job. My turn. All right, now hold. So that was um, one of the things. And then the other thing I don't have to show you yet. Um, I've been toying with two different ideas and um, I wanted to do it. I found it on Pinterest, and you take a tablecloth, a blank tablecloth, and you do your handprints. And um, after the paint dries, you write what you're thankful for, and you put the year. And then every year, you move down the tablecloth with your handprints. So my thoughts are: I wasn't sure if I'm going to do this for just my husband and my girls, and we just bring it with us to share with everybody 
or if I'm going to get a tablecloth and bring it for everybody to take part of in the whole family to do it. So I'm kind of toying with the idea um, and that is something I thought of doing. But then I also found another idea where you take a, a pretty um, notebook and what you do is it's not like a line notebook, but you put in there, a, you take a group picture for Thanksgiving of everybody there and then everybody writes in um, what they're thankful for on the page, the spread, and every year you just swip, flip through the page and do another one. So I really thought that was kind of neat too because then that's kind of like a perfect thing to travel with. Um, you just remember to, someone remembers to take part and bring it. And um, so I'm toying with the ideas. I may end up doing both and leave the tablecloth here for my husband and kids and we'll use it down the road when we eventually are not traveling for Thanksgiving. Um, so I don't know, that's something I'm thinking about doing. If you've ever done either one of those, let me know and let me know what you think of which one we should do. So those are the Thanksgiving crafts that I have come up with to do. And um, if I come up with any more, I obviously will share them on um, uh, Pinterest, or not Pinterest, Instagram, or maybe I'll make another video and I will leave any kind of links down below on this video if they correlate with each other. So as far as travel ideas, like I said, I have to entertain my ch uh, children for the car ride, but also um, the house that we're staying at this year, um, since Annabella's older and we don't really, she sleeps in a bed now here at home, she has a twin bed, and she doesn't really want to sleep in a pack and play. Um, we've tried that before outside. Um, we've gone to like a hotel and stuff. So we started looking around trying to think of ideas. And um, I came across this idea on Pinterest for a pillow bed. And um, what it is is normally it calls for pillowcases. I did a different version. It was more cost effective to do a flat, uh, flat sheet. And you fold it and you stitch um, to make it a spots to put pillows in. Um, I did four pillows. I have a video on that and I will leave it here. I'll either insert it here or I'll put it at the end of the video. If you wanna find out how to make it, I'm gonna insert a picture here so you know if you wanna keep watching for it. But it's the perfect little travel bed for Annabella and it will lay out on the floor in our room and Zoe will sleep in the pack and play. So it'll be perfect for us and she's excited because I used one of her um, frozen sheets. So it's a frozen um, pillow bed for her. And for the car ride, I have gone to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some items. For starters, in the car ride, these are awesome for your kids if you're having to, have, they're gonna have to eat in the car. And what I do is, this is a two pack four dollar at the Dollar Tree and we have pink ones currently in the car but one of them broke so I needed to pick up more and they didn't have pink so I got white and I actually serve their food in here and it's like their little tray and it's perfect size to keep in their lap so and then obviously their drinks go in their cup holders that are in their car seats but this is a really great idea for just everyday um, use in your car and then I just take a wipe if they get any kind of crumbs, wipe it out and you're good to go. So that's one thing I picked up new ones for the trip. I also found these at my Dollar Tree. These are the um, play packs and we're obviously Inside Out fans. We just got our movie uh, last week and we've probably watched it 20 billion times already. <laughs> and um, so I picked each one of them up. They have a little coloring book with stickers and crayons. So. And I haven't showed these to them because it'll make it, you know, more of a surprise and entertaining in the car. The other thing I picked up, and it was an idea I saw on Pinterest, which were these um, dollar aluminum trays, cookie sheets. And in the pin, they showed where they took Velcro and attached it to where you could attach it to the straps of their car, the car seat. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, or if I'm just gonna let them hold it in their lap. But it makes a great tray for them to do any of coloring sheets or other activities as well as i thought they got this for their birthday this rapunzel um magnet with like dresses and i thought that they could play with this 
on their the cookie sheet. Um, they could even just put the actual dresses on the sheet and kind of mix it around. And there's little accessories, flowers, paintbrushes, um, a frying pan. So I thought that was neat. And then we have alphabet letters and some other ideas. Um, I have some other uh, magnets is what I was trying to say, sorry. That I'll let them bring along to play with those. And my last item is, is that I have been trying to put together some busy bags. And um, seeing that they have a lot of toys that I probably want to bring already, I'm trying to keep it at a minimum. But I did find this idea on YouTube from another person. And I don't remember the name, but I will try to leave a link to the video below for you. But she took um, silly straws. And I'm going to pick up a couple other ones because... Um, this part right here, it gets a little complicated for this thing. But what you do is you take little felt squares and you cut a little hole in the center of them. And you let the kids just practice feeding the felt squares on. So like I said, this one's a little bit complicated because it has this little extra loop. So they don't really feed very well, but I wanted to show you the idea behind it. So I'm going to probably pick up some different silly straws next time I'm at the store. But this is a, just an easy little thing to keep them preoccupied. And I'm just going to store them in these gallon sized Ziploc bags that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't normally recommend these for food because they're really thin, but um, you get 10 in a box for the... the the little zipper still at the Dollar Tree so I just picked up a new box of these so I could start putting together some of these little items to store for the car ride so I hope you got something out of this video whether it be one of my Thanksgiving crafts or for traveling ideas for to keep your child preoccupied in the car and I am excited to take part of this collab and so go check out all the other ladies that are on the playlist and I will leave a video for the pillow bed um, will be right after this it'll be so if you want to keep watching that just stay tuned so thanks guys for watching bye so to get started with your pillowcase bed what I did was I took a twin flat sheet and I was only using four pillows so I was gonna have to trim off some of my fabric so that's what I did here I laid it out and then I trimmed it off and left some space to where I can fold it over and sew um, the hem. And then you're going to take and open up the sheet and fold in a 20.5 is what I had on one side. And then you will fold in the other side and it was 21 and a half. And your measurements may vary depending on the size of pillows that you use. So this is just what worked for me. And then I took and pinned the top seam. And from there then I laid a pillow on top of it and to line up to see how far down I needed to make my first pocket. And mine happened to be 18 and a half inches, as you can see here. And like I said, this will vary between what pillow sizes you use. So it's important to try them out. And then from there, I took and measured them all out and stitched up each one of the seams and inserted my pillows. These pillows, um, the way I did it is they are like a sham um, where you, the envelope style. So you just kind of have to squish your pillow down and feed it in. And then, you know, use your hand to straighten it all out. And that way there was no use of Velcro or having to make any closures to hold the pillows in. And this is just to show you how I have it all rolled up and tied up with some ribbon. Thanks for watching.